Why is shown complete? Always notice these words they use. Complete. You are allowed to be incomplete as well. You know what I'm saying here. So I'm in the board a-hole here. A quick bit of housekeeping before we do begin. Stand of the Games Giraffe. Joe the Fitness Mascot. Oberon the Opticus. Opticus. Octopus. He has merchandise. Joe the Fitness Merc Mascot. You can also find other Simon Miller merchandise at simonmiller.bigcartel.com. All of it must go. So if you keep an eye on there, you shall see some of the prices coming down. Because I have a brand new merchandise strategy that will be revolved, revealed even, <laughs> revolved very, very soon. So please do check that out. There's a link in the description below. But today... We're talking about Dana White, the head, the president, the king of the UFC, the ultimate fighting championship. Because apparently he almost died, so he went and got ripped. Now this story is everywhere. Uh, the original post was done by somebody on Instagram, I can't remember now. But the person that sent it to me, and thank you very much, sent it to me via The Sun. I know, what can you do? UFC chief Dana White shows off six-pack in stunning body transformation after he was told he had ten years to live. Dana White has revealed a new look. A new look. <laughs> In a crazy body transformation. It's never crazy, by the way. It's always hard work. White admitted he turned things around after being told he just had 10 years to live. And this is where it gets, I don't want to say funny, but I won't mention the person. I shared this with them, and they said it to me. The next line is, the 53-year-old UFC president looks shredded in a recent snap on Instagram. My friend said to me, so wait, he was going to die at 63? <laughs> I don't think that's as surprising as the article original made out. Now, I know what that's saying, but these days, you kind of want to live into your 80s, right? Anything before that, something has probably gone wrong. Also, if somebody tells you you're going to die unless you get in shape, just get in shape. What's the point otherwise? White is shown complete. Always notice these words they use. Complete. You are allowed to be incomplete as well. You know what I'm saying here. With a six-pack and muscular physique at the gym, the MMF chief has been on a strict ketogenic diet. We'll talk about it. And reckons the turnaround only took him 10 weeks. He said, I did everything he said to the letter, the person training him. I lost 30 pounds. My legs were so flubbed up 13 weeks ago, I couldn't tie my shoes. Now, that's bad. I don't know whether it was because he was carrying so much weight. Maybe it's blood pressure. I have absolutely no idea. Maybe he was just carrying too much of a load. So that was screwing up his joints. But two things here. Can you do that in 10 weeks? Yes, you can. Do you need drugs to do that? No. Did he use drugs? I don't know. And if I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. And if you decide to go on your own journey, should you even have that 10-week figure in your head? No, you should not. If you're going to go on a ketogenic diet and you're going to do it by yourself or with somebody else, just come up with a plan and stick to it. That's the most important thing. Maybe it takes you 15 weeks. Maybe it takes you 20 weeks. Maybe it takes you 35 weeks, but you'll still get there. But you have to say the course. you got to be disciplined, blah, blah, all of these words. Now, ketogenic diet is basically when you use fat as an energy source. Again, the way I explain these things, it's going to be super duper basic, but that's because that's the way I like. I consider myself a layman. <laughs> I like to explain things in layman terms, but you basically have super, super duper high fats and super, super duper high proteins, and you can have carbohydrates here or there, but you're probably not going to have that many because you want to get into a ketogenic state, and the way you do that, and there may be a new method now, I haven't done keto for a while, is you piss on a stick. Now, <laughs> I could never get into a proper ketogenic state. So I was on the toilet pissing on sticks, going, why won't you change? And thinking about just coloring in a felt tip pen. I believe it goes blue. And it's because I was eating too much protein. Now, this is a very, again, select area of doing this kind of thing. But it just goes to show, don't think to yourself, I don't think there's a lot of protein in this diet. And therefore, I'm going to add protein. Stick to the numbers you've come up with. And if you don't get into a ketogenic state, maybe you do need to drop some protein. I don't know. I'm just saying that's what happened to me. And I was too young and dumb to not just lower my protein. That's a whole different video. We've done it already. People take too much protein. You don't need as much as people say you do. He also continued, no more sleep apnea now, which usually does correspond to weight and heart issues. I don't snore. Everything is gone in 10 flubbing weeks. And no, he's not saying flubbing. The Connecticut-born former boxer has changed his life after being given a harsh wake-up call. He said he visited a guru who conducted blood and DNA tests. And then we go on. Human biologist and mortality expert Gary Brecker claims he can tell clients when they will pass away. Now, our cynicism comes out at first. You're like, <laughs> yeah. But if Gary Brecker walked in here right now and said, Simon, you're going to die in six weeks, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my gosh. And I'd do whatever he told me. So maybe it's a con, but still, it's a damn good con. I would listen. Also, look at the results. Dana White looks great. And the results prove bad news for White after he was introduced to Miami-based Brecker and his company 10X Health Systems by pal Carrie Kasem. 
kind of feel like I've just been accidentally forced into advertising them, but what do you do? The 53-year-old UFC chief told the Action Junkies podcast, this guy can take your blood and your DNA and tell you when you're going to die. So that wasn't cheap. And he's right within a month. How crazy is that? I had to know I've become flubbing obsessed with finding out the month I'm going to die. I connect with this guy and they come and do my blood work and they scrape the insides of my cheeks to do the DNA. The following Wednesday is when my results are supposed to be back. He calls me and he says he's going to walk me through my blood work and I'm like, mother flubber. I wanted to know today when was this going to happen? He ends up coming out. He sits down for three and a half hours and goes through my blood work. Always get your blood work done. It's good to know what your body is doing. I'm all flubbed up. My triglycerides, I can never pronounce this word, triglycerides, there it is, are like 764. <laughs> Grief. And they should be down between 80 and 150. So there you go. I mean, I probably could do that. <laughs> <laughs> See this number, Dana? It's way too high. Everything else that could possibly be bad is bad. He gave me 10.4 years to live. It's very, very specific. The thing that freaked me out the most was I didn't tell this guy Jack Shib about me, my medical history and what was going on with me personally. He told me everything that was wrong with me, Shib, that I didn't even tell my wife. And then amazingly, the article just ends, which... <laughs> <laughs> which is like you're watching some kind of a program. I was like, well, what's this relationship with his wife like? But I suppose we're never going to know. Which does indeed bring me to the picture itself, which was by Sand Hummer. Who is Sand Hummer? Uh, social media at BT Sport. There we go. Wait, I think I've, I know who Sand Hummer is. I'm not personally, but I recognize him. And uh, he just put up the, the, the picture. There he is. You can see him again. Again, 53 years old. Pretty damn good. I would imagine at the very least he's on TRT or something, but that's not a bad thing. Do not forget. We should all go on TRT if we can afford it at the relevant age. Don't go crazy. And we go through some of the um, comments as always because it's fun. And I don't want to go for the, the blue tick ones. They're not fun. He got secret juice recipe, <laughs> recipe from Paolo Costa. Flub, no, that can't be Dana. You saw to test this guy. He's not on the roster. Doesn't have to be tested. Unlike Conor McGregor, who for some reason hasn't tested in a year. Check out more great, more plates, more dates video. I mean, if you own the best fight organization, you might as well look like that. This is all. He's on PEDs, people. Nothing wrong with that. But you can clearly notice that he uses clearly looks photoshopped. So these are just you know what they are. I don't necessarily think it looks like he's on PEDs there at all. Again, I'm not saying that he is, and I'm not saying that he's not. I mean, given the fact he's got the best doctors around him, and I would imagine an infinite supply of money after it was IMG. I believe. Yeah, it was IMG that bought the UFC, I think, or somebody like that. But after they bought the, the company and he probably, you know, made out like a, a king, if you've got tons of money and you have access to healthcare, constant healthcare, you probably are going to push what your body is capable of and then just make sure the doctor says, like, yeah, you know, you're in the right space here health wise. And if we go over it, we're going to knock you back. I mean, that is what I presume. I don't know. I'm completely speculating what Hollywood actors do or anyone that jumps on a cycle but doesn't intend to stay on it and is using it to get in certain shape like this or whatever it may be, I'd have to imagine that you are getting blood tested two, three times a week and then you know, right, how far can I push this? How far can I go? And, you know, would I probably do that in the same situation? I think I would. You know, I'm, again, I'm just completely throwing it out there. But the scary thing about doing PEDs or whatever you want to call them is that you can do serious damage to yourself. But you have a doctor saying, look, I'm looking at all your levels here and you're totally fine, kind of negates that a little bit. But it still takes discipline and it still takes hard work. That's why when I saw that picture, I thought, man, that is absolutely badass. I mean, maybe he used a few things to get there, hence why he was able to do it in 10 weeks. But being told, you know, this is where you're at with your life. This is where you're at with your body. And this is what could potentially happen to you and going out there and changing it. It makes sense. And actually, we'll do it right now. If you look at old pictures of Dana White, and I presume this is from 2022 or recent, I'm not going to say he looks unhealthy, but he's getting to that kind of... Every now and then you see pictures where his face looks kind of red and it looks like his blood pressure is probably through the roof. And that is something you absolutely have to keep an eye on, including when you just go into the gym as you get older. Blood pressure... I mean, most people get high blood pressure for one reason or another, but you, you have to watch out for low blood pressure too, and neither are that good. I mean, again, I'm a layman, as we've already talked about, but high blood pressure is probably going to give you a heart attack before long, and low blood pressure is just going to be terrifying. It's going to be like you're falling down a cliff the whole time. And I guess either way, it's probably going to have a knock-on effect. So, you know, if you ever find yourself with sort of rosy red cheeks or a flushed face, just go and talk to a physician. Go talk to a doctor and see what's going down. And if you need to do this, you'll be able to do it as well. Maybe you won't look as ripped. Maybe you won't look as lean. But if you're, say, an 18-stone guy or girl, and you get down to, say, 12 stone, you don't have to look like you've trained your entire life. As long as you look lean and you look healthy and you don't look fat anymore... That's a massive pat on the back, and you should be proud of yourself, especially if you would get information such as this. So I think it's awesome. Again, like I always say, just assume everybody is doing something, and then you haven't got to be overly concerned about it, and eventually you will start focusing on you 
that, my friends, is where the secret sauce lies. Now, please do leave a comment below and let me know what you think about all of this. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Get the bell ding ding. So you're not visit going live. There will be a video on the screen. Please do give it a click. Otherwise, you can go to gorillamind.com for Sir Simon. You're going to get 10% off. I like these supplements. I think they rock. I'm also on Patreon, patreon.com for Sir Simon to 316. Instagram and Twitter at Simon to 316. I've got a cameo if you want to shout out there. SimonMiller.bigcartel.com for all of these guys and some other stuff too. I mean, if it's not down today, check it tomorrow again. Like, I'm going to reduce all the prices through the stock and I can finally get some new ones which sounds good to me other than that take care of yourself be healthy that's the most important thing health and fitness what's the most important word health what's the most important muscle in your body your heart without those two things you're not going to be able to do anything else so just be smart take care of yourself know that they're as as important and as cool as going to the gym is there are more, more important and cool things out there so you want to make sure you bring balance to the force see you soon